to pay my respects to elders past and present. And I'd like to start by thanking you all for pushing this issue for so long. Many of you have been at this for decades, John Minns and Rack, and the many others. All of you who have pushed back against the politics of division and cruelty that we've seen play out over the last 20 years. Thank you for reminding Australians that this is about people. This is about people like you and I, families with hopes and dreams who are seeking safety and asylum. The arrival of asylum seekers and refugees in Australia has been politicised by both major parties. It's become a race to the bottom with campaigning on fear, division and cruelty. But we know that this is about people and not politics. And we've seen flashpoints that have cut through the political rhetoric. We've seen flashpoints that have challenged Australians to think differently. The Medivac Bill, Baru's Bachani, Priya and Nadi and the Biloela community. The Australian Open where we saw the plight of people in indefinite detention and reaching a whole another audience that maybe hasn't thought about this issue. We've seen uh, what happened in Afghanistan after the US pulled their troops out, the war in Ukraine, what's happening in Iran, uh, stories um, like Zara um, told about her family and what they've been through. And I, I really would like to acknowledge Mehdi, Zara, Saha, Husti and Adlam. Uh, Australia has failed you. We have failed you. It's, it's not good enough. And it's on all of us to continue to push and change the narrative and to ensure that we have a government that will do the right thing. Changing the way we think about refugees is only the start. We need to see that translate into action. Politicians have responsibility to the people they represent, a responsibility to build a nation that we can be proud of, a nation that treats everyone with respect and dignity, and that faces complex challenges with unity and with courage. The recent announcement about TPVs and chefs is very welcome from the government. Uh, this is long overdue, but we must remember that there are still thousands of people living, working, and contributing in our communities across Australia, including here in Canberra, who are living in limbo, who are going from bridging visa to bridging visa. And we have a responsibility as Australians to do better, to treat them with the dignity that they deserve. We must ensure that people who seek asylum get the treatment and the fair hearing when it comes to their claims of refugee status that they deserve. We must continue to push the government to do the right thing. We heard about Saha, her, her work ethic through high school to earn a scholarship, to then be told, sorry, you're on a bridging visa, you can't study. And that is a decision of this government. That is a decision that we say to the Labor government, we want you to do better. We can find a way to deal with refugees that ensures that we're not seeing people die at sea, but we're treating people with dignity and respect.
So thank you so much for, for all your advocacy, for the way that you are pushing elected representatives to do better. There's much work to do, but we know that Australians can rise to this challenge, and we must. Ensuring that we have policies in place uh, that are dealing with refugees, people seeking asylum uh, in a humane and, and fair way is crucial. We have those systems in place now because if we look at climate change and the number of displaced people, this is an issue that Australia is going to have to grapple with. And as a country, we can step up and we can show the world that we can do better and we can do the right thing for people who are desperately asking for our help and support. So thank you very much. Keep up the great work.